Yes, thank you very, very much for staying with us once again and joining us on this channel, Sports 7 GH. It's always, always a pleasure to have you join us. Thank you very, very much. In this video, we are going to bring you latest news from the camp of the senior national team, the Ghana Black Stars. We are going to look at the overview of the game versus Central African Republic that will be coming on in some about four hours. Um, you know, it's 4 p.m. in Ghana, so that's when the game will be coming on. We are going to look at the overview of the game. Game. also we have to look at the game angola is playing um over there yes angola versus madagascar there should be an interest there because depending on how our game goes that game versus angola will be a very very important game for us we're also going to look at that particular game and then talk to you about several other things with the senior national team the ghana black stars do well to subscribe to the channel if this is your first time watching this here like this video hit the notification bell and select or leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section if you have any it's always always a pleasure to have you join us thank you very very much yes so today the senior national team the ghana black stars of ghana will be looking to qualify for the 24th african cup of nations um yes ever since the tournament started um in algeria that's when the in in ivory coast that's where the african cup of nations is going on ghana will be hoping to qualify for the 24th time um at the babayara sports stadium as we take on central african republic yes um yeah yesterday we went there the final training sessions was were on and um, the players trained very well did their very very best and um, we gave you the probable 11 we are going to give it to you again in this particular video depending on the training that went on yesterday um of course we are going to give you the probable 11 but then these are some of the training videos that we got <laughs> sorry 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 these are some of the training videos that we got uh, from the camp and that's how things are over there so you see joseph pencil is not part of the squad he wasn't part or in fact because of injury he has been excused from the squad um and the player to replace him is fatal ishaku yesterday the coach confirmed that indeed fatal ishaku will be replacing him um will be replacing joseph pencil in the blaster squad the news is that he's joining the squad this particular morning this morning is when Fatah Ishaku joined the squad. And so, he will not be part of the game versus Central African Republic. Yesterday, I told you that he should be, the coach should be able to play with 24 players. Because the game cry, you select 11 players and then you have the other players on the bench. So, he should be. And we have quality. We still have quality to beat this this, this Central African Republic team. And that's how things are. So, Fatah Ishaku will not be part of the game today. But then the friendly game versus Liberia, maybe he will take part in it. And that's how things are for Fatah Ishahaku. Also, um, per the last training sessions, um, you are watching, and in fact, the last training sessions we monitored at the Babaya Sports Stadium. The likely 11 again is, of course, Lawrence Atizigi in post, right back Ali Duseidu, left back Gideon Mensah. Four and five is Nicholas Opoku and um, Joseph Edu, the 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 two base defensive midfielders, Elisha Ozu and Baba Rahman and Baba Idrisu. And then Kudus Mohamed will be the main number 10 of the team. The wingers will be Jordan Ahiu on the left side, Osman Bukari on the right side of the wings. And then the main striker will be Antoine Semenyo. This is the likely 11 pair. The training that went on yesterday, this is the likely 11. We deduced from the training grounds and we will see today if that will be the confirmed lineup over there. Now, what should we expect from the central african republicans now we should expect them to defend so deep they will defend really really deep today and that one i am sure coach chris Uti knows that because look this is a team that can actually qualify to the afcon if they are to win this game versus ghana if they beat ghana at the Baba Era Sports Stadium, they are they've qualified for the Afcon. They don't need anything. They've qualified because they will be on ten points. Ghana will not. They will overtake Ghana, and they will qualify. Depending on what happens with Angola, they will qualify with Angola. So they are going to defend extremely well from the blast of the whistle, and that is what the Ghanaian team should expect. Now, they won versus Nigeria away, seventh October twenty twenty one. They won versus Nigeria away in Nigeria. They want to beat Nigeria 1 0. So, and you need, you know, the time the goal came tells you a, all of their game plan. Now, 
they defended ah, at the end of the game, the 90th minute. That is when their goal came. So it tells you that when they their plan, their game plan is that they would defend until the end of the game. If the game is 80th minute and the game is still 0 0, there will be pressure on the Black Stars because you are playing at home. The supporters are expecting a lot from you uh, versus Central African Republic. There, you are expected to beat them, and then you are playing at home, and then you are you are drawing at the 80th minute so if the game is still 0 0 at 80 minutes of course they are going to then uh, mount the pressure on the blasters so there from 80th minute going that is when they will start attacking the blasters because they know that at that time you, you have a lot of pressure and you you are bound to make mistakes so per what they did with nigeria playing very defensively and getting the last minute goal in the 90th minute i suspect that is the same thing they are going to do with the senior national team the black stars at the babayara sports stadium and that is the reason why we should also make sure that we get a goal in the first half at least we should score a goal in the first half that will unsettle them that will change their game plan and that will ensure that they will start attacking us and they will get, leave a lot of spaces and um, behind them and then we will punish them that is all this is the perfect plan for us also the game plan for us also is that from the blast of the whistle we are attacking them we are playing a half pack we the defenders are moving upwards we are playing we are trying to hold the ball most times and create enough chances and beat them we need to beat them i can't fathom I can't understand how the mood will be when Ghana fails to qualify for the African Cup of Nations. It will be so bad for Chris Hutton and his people. So, so bad that Ghana has failed to qualify for African Cup of Nations because we sat at the Babayara Sports Stadium and Central African Republic came to beat us. It will not happen. It cannot happen. So, from the blast of the whistle, we should start attacking them and we should attack them very, very well. Now, one of the easiest thing to do versus a team that sits defensively is to play from the back when you have the opportunity to score score from it's not that by force you have to enter the box to score no shoot from every angles that is the point i'm making shoot from every angles there can be a deflection it will be a goal there can be a goal a corner kick you can have a, um, um, a corner kick and then you you score there can be a free kick and then you make good use of it shoot from every angles make use of your set pieces and you are going to beat them now angola will be playing versus madagascar at home they also need a win um to qualify in fact if ghana wins they will need just a draw to qualify but if ghana loses um if ghana loses will be on nine points they'll be on eight points they will need a win to qualify they will need three points to qualify because if they get a, a point they will be on nine points with ghana and then they will be head to head and we will qualify it i'm sure so that is how things are uh, angola will need to win their game versus madagascar and i am very sure they will win at home for them to qualify for the afcon it's been a very long time they qualify for the after afcon i remember angola 2010 and that was a beautiful afcon and masamojan did extremely well in that particular afcon ghana did extremely well in that particular afcon when we played um at angola in angola that country i think we went to the finals and it was a very very good one um and so they would also want to be at the afcon and i'm sure they are going to win so ghana we don't have any excuse we have to win because if we allow central african republic to beat us and we are now going to rely on madagascar to beat angola and that would be a hell of it would be a top 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 a tall order for madagascar i am not sure madagascar can beat angola at their own market the best for madagascar will be a draw in fact they will not get a draw oh angola wants to qualify for the afcon they know that if they win they've qualified they don't care about what is happening in ghana they will obviously win so what do we need from ghana yes if we draw the game we've qualified but then we need to win the game easy we need to win and we have to play convincing football it is important that we play convincing football because chris Hutton hasn't played convincing football his football hasn't convincing enough it hasn't produced goals it is not convincing we don't see anything and um, i hope that today 
he will give us that convincing football he will let us see something he will give us some hope that in the future we are going to do very very well but if at the babayara sports stadium the game you are going to play is still very bad then we will have a lot of thoughts for chris Hutton after the game so this game is a game we should win and i pray and i hope that we win and win very very well um that's how things are did are you at camp kudus muhammad at camp all of them fit and they will be uh playing a beautiful game today we wish the black stars all the best do what to like this video subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and select all of your thoughts and comments below in the comment section if you have any it's always a pleasure to have you join us definitely i'll see you in the next update bye bye